Okay, so I keep losing constant trailer power to charge my battery, uh, to trickle charge it while it's plugged in, while the, truck, while the trailer's plugged into my truck. Uh, I keep losing power. I know I lose power, one, because my battery's going dead, but it's not my battery. It's the uh, trickle charge coming off the truck. My pin, my, pot, my constant hot pin, uh, is dead. So I know that it's probably from my fuse, in between my fuse and the plug back there. Uh, so the fuse blew on me once, and fortunately, someone helped me uh, find the correct one. I've been looking for it because I couldn't remember which one it was. And then I just realized, looking through my book, I was going through any one that said trailer. And uh, this one was the F30. F30 for a Dodge Ram 2019, and I think later after 2019. I don't know what it is for 2018s and prior. But I'll show you which one here. All right, so there's my fuse box. Ignore all my stuff that I have on there. It's that constant solenoid. Uh, so the fuse for this is this one right there, that 30. It's a 30 amp fuse. This was the culprit two times in a row. If your battery keeps dying, go check your pen. I'll show you which pen is your positive and which is your negative. And I'll probably post a an image. Also to show you what's constant power. So you have a constant trickle charge, by the way. This right here will send constant 12 volts back to the trailer to power the trailer off the plug, including the trickle charger. That constant power is not giving you power right here. This one isn't giving you power to turn on your lights, your running lights, or any of that other stuff. This is just sending 12 volts back there to trickle charge your battery. I, I don't know this for sure. It may also have something to do with your your brakes, uh, trailer brakes, but I don't know that. So I wouldn't even rely on that comment. Uh, I just wanted to throw it as a caveat. As far as I know, this is really definitely your only uh, constant power back to the trailer right here. The rest, it gets the hots from the other ones. There's one neutral, there's only one neutral. And the rest will uh, be getting its hot from the left tail, you know, left blinker, right blinker. That's when it sends the hot back. So there's only one neutral, it stays neutral the entire time. All right, so I knew it because that one right there, that top one at about the one to two o'clock position, that's your hot, uh, your constant hot. Uh, and then if I recall, I think it is this one at the seven o'clock position, uh, that is your constant negative. The others are all your different blinkers and I'll share with you the, the diagram for what those all are. but uh, the negative will stay negative, and then you'll get your hots from all the others, depending on what you're wanting to do. Left, right, blinker, uh, brake lights, all that mess. The hot up here, though, will always remain hot if, the, if it's connected uh, through your fuse into the back of these plugs. So you just put your tester here and on that one, so on the one o'clock and the seven o'clock pin there, and uh, that'll tell you if you're getting your constant trailer power, you also get the rest of them uh, if it's if this constant is out. If that fuses out, you'll still get all these because all these are different hots as well whenever you want them. So, anywho, that's the problem I just ran into and had to fix. I hope it helps people who are looking for why their their trailer battery keeps dying, and I think it keeps going out because. These trailers tend to leave their lights on inside and uh, I think that probably is a little too much power to send through that little wire this many feet back. Uh, that's a lot of resistance in the lines. So I imagine it's probably blowing that fuse not just because of the jack but also because of all the power being requested constantly.